So we're here at uh, TI, and uh, who are you? I'm Trey German. So what do you do? I'm our Launchpad Applications Manager at Texas Instruments. What is a Launchpad? So our Launchpad is our low-cost microcontroller development platform. It's really, really easy to use and it includes everything you need to get started. So if we take a look at one of our Launchpads, what makes it up is the debugger, the target MCU, and these uh, specialized headers uh, on the side. So these are a standardized header that are the same between all of the different launch pads. And we supply launch pads for each of the uh, different microcontroller families that Texas Instruments makes. So for instance, this is the MSP430 F5529 launch pad, which is really good for ultra low power applications. We also Sorry? You have many different here. Yeah, we have many different launch pads. Um, we have launch pads for everything from ultra low power to connected launch pads. So this is our, our TM4C uh, launch pad, which has uh, Ethernet built into it. Um, we also have a launch pad uh, with Wi-Fi. So our CC3200, which is over here to the right, uh, has a built-in Wi-Fi radio. It's a Cortex. It's an ARM Cortex M4 uh, with a Wi-Fi radio built into it. You can kind of see the antenna down here at the bottom. Um, we also have launch pads for digital real-time control applications, and that's what this launch pad is here. So this is our uh, brand new C2000 F28069M InstaSpin Motion launch pad. Um, and if you turn it over, yeah, you can you can see some more info on the back. Uh, What's going on there? So. Um, this is uh, our, our motor control solution. It's um, yeah, it's um, it's designed to control uh, brushless DC motors. Okay. Um, and when you couple it with uh, one of our motor control booster packs, uh, so this is our DRV 8301 uh, motor drive booster pack. We can really, really easily sensorlessly spin a uh, brushless DC motor. All right. What's a brushless DC motor? So a brushless DC motor is something like this right here. Um, it's one of the most efficient uh, motor uh, motors that are out there. So instead of having brushes, which would uh, normally energize the coils inside of the motor, what we actually have are the coils that are stationary. But what that means is that we have to commute each of the coils as the magnets spin around the motor. And so that's you know typically done with a magnetic sensor inside of the motor. Um, our InstaSpin Motion technology allows us to do that completely sensorlessly. So we have a voltage and a current feedback on each of the phases, and using the fast software encoder, which is in the ROM of the device, we're actually able to tell where the magnets are in the rotation and sensorlessly commute each of the phases of the motor. So uh, TI is uh, involved in this kind of stuff? Yeah, we are, uh, we're very committed to different motor control technology. Um, you know, C2000 is uh, you know a great example of that but we also have analog um, solutions as well um, so for instance the uh, the chip on here DRV 8301 is a, a gate drive IC that's designed for um, sensorless motor control applications um, we also have the TI next vets up here near the top which make up the main drive inverter all right there's lots of cool stuff around here what, what, what is this? So this is, um, excuse me, this is a booster pack from a third party uh, called Seed Studio out of China. And they have an ecosystem called the Grove ecosystem. Um, and that's what all these kind of blue modules are that you see uh, on the table and kind of hanging off here. And so these are really great because they've got modules for just about everything that you could want. You can see there's a few more uh, up on the, the computer screen there. But it makes it very easy without any soldering to kind of con uh, connect different sensors and actuators uh, to your launch pad and prototype your application. All right, that's cool. So, uh, so TI has, has a history of doing uh, microcontrollers, right? Absolutely. And uh, so there are some ARM new ones, and there's for 20 years, what has been the other solutions? Sorry, so uh, there's uh, the F, uh, you call it the MSP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other devices, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so in addition to, to all the ARM devices that we have on our roadmap, we do have uh, some proprietary architectures as well, which are very exciting and, and very high performance. Um, MSP430 is, is certainly one of the, the, the most exciting ones. Um, MSP430 is a proprietary architecture uh, that really achieves some, some really interesting uh, 
uh, low power results, right? A lot of applications, they need to run off a battery for potentially years at a time. And with MSP430, you can do that. Cool. So what, uh, what is that? So um, we just recently got ranked in this new benchmark, the ULP benchmark, um, and we achieved actually 30% better power consumption than anyone else in the industry. So if you really want the lowest power microcontroller, MSP430 is the only choice. Lowest power of the industry. And tomorrow we will announce. Oh yeah. And tomorrow. What's we're happening tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow we're announcing a, a very exciting new Bluetooth device, um, which is, is also uh, an ultra low power solution. Um, so we have a, a new development kit, um, and one of our senior VPs will be uh, announcing this device in a, at a press conference. Cool. So, um, so what else is over here behind? Yeah. So hello. So, so who are you? So my name is Kirsten Uhl. I'm. Uh, where should I look? Into the camera yeah, or at you? Yeah. I mean, just to me. Okay. So my name is Kirsten Wood. I'm at Texas Instruments in Europe in the marketing and communications team. And I'll show you what else we have on the booth. So, so there's uh, lots of things around here. There, this is all around connectivity. We have many solutions for the Internet of Things, from a low power perspective on to a high performance perspective. All we support all protocols. We have solutions for all your situations. This one is a protected house. Yeah. Can one of you talk to yeah. the video blogger? So there's there's a house with a bunch of sensors inside. So this is a protected house, and this is our expert from the team who actually uh, created this house. Okay. So what's going on in there? This is uh, our sub one gigahertz connected home. Yeah. So we are using uh, we are using the Simplicity stack, which is a proprietary stack provided by TI. Uh, it uh, supports a simple star network. And we are using, uh, in this case, our performance line radio. So we are using the CC1120 at 868 megahertz. But you also uh, will have support for all the other sub one gigahertz radios. Um, so it's sub one gigahertz yes. uh, with Bluetooth Smart. So long range. Long range. So it's long range Bluetooth. No, in the house there is no there is no BLE. The house is 868, and that's what, why we are using it. Is to have full coverage in the house. So if you have concrete walls, you have several floors, you have a big big house. Uh, you will have better penetration with a lower frequency than 2.4. Right. So for this one, we have the access point uh, communicating with all the end, end devices at uh, 868. Yeah, so this is an access point. You, know, you will have information here. Uh, you can you have a movement sensor, so you will turn on the light by just placing your hand in here. If you arm the alarm and you have movement, you know you will trigger the alarm. So the access point will send a broadcast message and trigger the alarm. Uh, in addition to the 868 on this one communicating in the house, we have a BLE chip on the backside. Uh, so this is doing the communication. Uh, with the iPad. So we can also see there that if you are opening and closing the door, there, you can open and close the window. And if I'm putting my hand here, you should be able to see that someone is moving in the house. All right. So that's the Internet of Things in the home. This, this, and you have. Connected, connected home with sub one gigahertz. You have more Internet Things stuff showing around. Yes, you can over go there. To, go to okay. to that pub. Is it uh, M3 and Idol? Uh, yeah. yeah. M3. Go around here. Okay.
different ones where you have more or less different So who are you? It's Amin Hunter, so I'm based in the UK. I'm a systems application engineer for our wireless connectivity products. So what are you showing here? So we're, we're, sh we're showing the, the concept of the IoT. So we have different sensors here with different radio technologies and they're all connected via gateways to an IBM cloud server. So on the server we're running rules, we're analysing the data and we can communicate between different devices. So this is a blue blue mix? No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Node Red is the interface. Node Red the, interface to the IBM cloud server, and uh, they all connected. Yes. So we've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth Low Energy, and we've got six low band. <laughs> so what what do they do? These what can they, what can they measure? And so they've all got temperature, pressure sensors, accelerometers, gyros. So fairly a range of environmental and motion sensors. And they're all broadcasting in real time to yeah. the cloud. So every second they're transmitted to the cloud all their data. And on the cloud you can visualize or you can run rules. What's going on behind there, all those boards? So the, these are gateways that are doing doing the the, uh, the translation from Zigbee to IP or Bluetooth to IP. So each of them might be transmitting different signals to the gateway, which is TI powered little board. Yeah, so for example, we've got a, a Bluetooth low energy device here. There's a humidity sensor. We are detecting on the humidity sensor that the fact that I'm blowing onto it. It sends a message to the cloud and switches off the Zigbee lights. Mm. So we've got multiple radio technologies as inputs and outputs from rules on the cloud. Nice. So this is it. Uh and all these uh, technologies are available, and uh, it's going to be billions of devices, no? Yes. But it's going to be very big. So TAI is a big player in the IoT. Yes. For the future. Right and and we, we supply all, we have products that do all the wireless technologies, so customers can choose which one fit, fits their needs. So you do Bluetooth Best. Smart, so Wi-Fi, sub 1 gigahertz. 6 low band, Zigbee. And this is all the connections that people want for yeah. IoT. Yes. 